Alright, so it's been a while since the unboxing. Now it's time to crack into the build on that Kyosho Scorpion. So, first we're going to get everything out of the package. And get ourselves ready for the build. So, start off with the two frame rails. I get some screws in there. And this here is based off of uh, almost everything aluminum. So, you got to make sure to thread lock everything. Those there are our front uh, shock mounts. Alright, so we have the spacer in there. Screw that into the opposite uh, frame rail. There we go. Secure that front shock uh, tower as well. Thread lock up top. Get everything ready for the shocks themselves. And now onto the steering. So we're going to throw a steering post through the bell crank. And the lower part of the uh, steering assembly is so going to get a long screw through. Thread that bell crank over that. And here we're going to screw that portion of it into the chassis frame rails. Thread lock everything as well as the upper piece, which couldn't even tell you what you call that, but that's what the uh, A-arms are going to be floating on. Now on to the rear. So we have one chassis brace at the bottom and one at the top where it's going to, trans is going to sit in. Just going to break the trans and the tire loose from that packaging. All right, the trans as well. That's built, so we'll get the bearing on there, grease it up, and it's ready to throw into the tranny housing. And now we have the cover. Two screws secures that. And should I mention the soft, or sorry, <laughs> the aluminum is soft here, so don't uh, over-tighten things because we stuck with uh, some stripped uh, screws. Or not screws, housing, I guess you'd say. And now for the upper cover, two screws secures that. Now we're all sealed. The shock towers here, three skew, oh, sorry, three screws, and that's in place. And now we're gonna get the uh, protector lower cage screwed in. Connect that to the frame rails. Three screws into the trans is nice and secure. And that's done. Now, what we're going to be working on is the A-arms. Free everything out from the package. And here we have the arm itself. We'll throw a bearing. We have the uh, stub axle. And now to mount it onto the chassis. So we have two pivot points. And a hinge pin, which is going to hold our A-arm in place. Same for both sides. Now for the dog bone. Once the dog bone's in there, you're clean. Move on to the shocks. Just secure that with a nut. Same for the bottom. On the opposite side. Now here we have the roll bar. All right, so two screws gets that nice and secure. Now into the front A arm, which again is a quite a strange setup. Hard to explain. But we have a pivot point on that uh, steel rod that's going across as well as this here, which is another pivot point. Kind of acts, I guess, easiest way to explain that is almost like a forelink of some sort. I know people are probably going to knock me because they're familiar with the setup, but to me this is all new. It's a retro kit. I've never built anything like this before. <laughs> all right, so we're going to snap the linkages into place. Holes our uh, A-arms. Now onto our shocks. You'll see a little bit up closer uh, once I'm done on the build so you can get a better understanding of what was, uh, I guess, my hang-ups on the front. All right, now onto the bumper. Two screws gets that secure. Now for the tub. Two screws into the chassis. And we have the connecting rod that's going to be going to our servo. And snap on the wing here. Two screws each side. And now we're on our tires. Same for the front. So the fronts will have bearings because it's two wheel drive, so those spin freely. And a roll cage, two plastic halves, and an aluminum plate that's holding that together. We have a total of six screws here. And there's our cab with the driver. So two screws in the front for the roll cage, and the rest is just going to snap into place here. So I'm going to wiggle everything through, pinch the front, 
Try not to wreck the deco. <laughs> the shock towers up front are a little bit on the sharp side. Right, snap that into place. Snap that into place. All right, so the pinch in the front. Get that into place here. All right. Nice look from the side. You can see how that A arm pivots to the back instead of it being a side to side motion. And the tub there will be painted black. Should make it look a little bit cleaner. Those yellows are a little odd. <laughs> so, here is the battery tray cover. Battery's going to go underneath there. And we should have a body clip underneath there and a retainer. I haven't put that in because, again, I'm spraying that tub. So, I'm going to put that in after. So yeah, for what it is, I'm very happy with the kit. I'm going to bash this a little bit to see the kind of abuse it'll put up to. A lot of aluminum. Some people say it's soft. Well, the only part that I noticed it was a little bit different uh, consistency, I guess you'd say, is the trans. But the rest of the stuff looks very solid. Yeah, that front suspension just boggles me. <laughs> All right, so anyways, that's the end of that. We should have some footage of this being uh, blasted around. So guys... Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.